that chick. Hey, man, there's Josh Arnold. Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Chick. Manning the track phone, hotline, hot phone. Greg Warren should be along here any second. I'm Chick, and here's Tom, and there. Oh, we oh, got the look fade. At Greg. Yeah. There it is. Uh, comedian Greg Warren has joined us, um, and we should introduce Christy Lee because she's sitting at the Poetry for Neanderthals Not Safe for Work Edition News Desk. <laughs> uh, that's right. Um, and we'll find out what that's all about coming up. We uh, we will play the game once again. But right now, I introduce um, Greg Warren. Greg, hey, and Greg. Uh, it's good to see you, Greg. I like that poster behind you. Uh, oh, hey, thanks, Tom. That's a, a, a promoting a thing from last year. It's got you and your wrestling togs. Tom's togs. <laughs> it's a singlet. Thank you, Christy. It's a... <laughs> but Tom's right. They are togs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your wrestling little singlet. suit. Oh, my God. Not a little suit. And, uh, <laughs> and you, were, like you. you were a state champion wrestler, and then were you, uh, what, what, what was the highest achievement nationally? Uh, I, I took seventh my uh, senior year, uh, uh, which made me an All-American, Tom. Top eight, get All-American. So, Oh, yeah. congratulations. And, uh, and is that uh, hat you're wearing, is that USA Wrestling? Is that what that is? I think it's USA Soccer, Chick. Okay. Uh, that makes I just sense. liked that. I just liked that. Okay. Uh, All right. You know, it, 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 you get a certain age, you, you figure there's only a few hats out there that really fit your head. True Mine's enough. is a, a new a new era 920 is what fits my head. Ah, and, uh, son of yeah. a gun. It looks good. Yeah. Now, Thanks, um, uh, you have just uh, recorded a new um, a new uh, television special. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. And it, when's that going to be uh, coming out? Do we know? I, you know, I, sometime uh, in 23, I would imagine, kind of, kind of out of my hands at this point. Mm, sure. sure. Now, is yeah. that <clears throat> is that the uh, presentation that I saw you do there? Yes, Chick. Oh. That was what, that, that was the one that you saw. Yeah. And is that? Are you gonna? Is there some way you can uh, make that comedy? I mean, oh, <laughs> there's a lot of a uh, lot of stuff in the post process, Chick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. would think. Yeah. 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 They, they can do miracles these days. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot audience of, and stuff. A lot, yeah. lot of tricks. They can Maybe do. like speed yeah, it, speed it up and do this underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, he is funny. <laughs> yeah, you know, sax never fails. I, that's weird. That music was playing, and and Greg thought it was funny that uh, would I chase you or you'd chase me around a, a venue when we used to do the go out on the couch. I believe, uh, yeah, we we just used to come up with creative ways to interrupt Bob Zaney's <laughs> act. Right. You'd hear that music start, and Bob would go, oh, "What the hell's going on?" And, I believe. Uh, Chick chased me uh, yeah, up I and see. down the aisle with my pants off. Yeah. <laughs> the implication being I was, uh, right, I was in love. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, now, uh, what is today's topic for the Warren Report? Uh, you know, I thought we should talk about pumpkins today, Tom. Why not? It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's Halloween. Why not? Yeah, sure. and it's National Pumpkin Carving Day. Oh, damn. I mean, damn is right. that right? Makes yeah, sense. They right. moved it from July 4th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the pumpkins weren't, weren't big enough. You know. yeah. It was a bad timing thing. So uh, the uh, jack-o'-lanterns, let's talk about them first. That, that came from Irish folklore. Uh, there was a character named uh, Stingy Jack. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's Stingy Jack. It might be Stingy Jack. That's spelled the same way. Yeah. Oh. Used honey. Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. I think that's just some <laughs> creepy guy that dresses up in a bee costume and runs around on, with safety pins on uh, Halloween. <laughs> rich people. But, uh, there, yeah, then, then St Stingy Dick <laughs> was the spokesman for the uh, penicillin. Oh, <laughs> and after the Not great syphilis with... plague of Ot 7. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family segment, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Here be Stingy it, Dick. Uh, You're working blue now, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stingy Jack uh was uh was a drunk uh and uh he was a he was selfish a manipulator he was a trickster a deceiver and uh one day he was walking home on the little <laughs> path home uh -huh. and he saw the devil and he was like okay i, I knew this was coming <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah well <laughs> looked a bad life and the devil said hey you know it's time for you to go with me and he, he said hey what if i got a beer first and the the, the, the <laughs> devil said sure uh, so they go to the bar, and of course his name is Stingy Jack, so he doesn't have any money, mm -hmm. and he uh, 
He asked the devil, he goes, would you turn yourself into a silver coin? And that way I could get uh, a, a beer. And the devil says yes, which I don't know. You need to suspend a little disbelief uh, with these Irish folktales. But uh, uh, he takes the coin and he puts it in his pocket and he puts a crucifix in there. So the devil can't get out. He's got ah. it. Yep. yep. And then uh, Stingy Jack says, hey, uh, if you promise not to come for my soul for 10 years, uh, I'll, I'll get rid of the crucifix. So he did. Ten years later, devil shows up, uh, and, and this is where, I mean, you're the devil, man. I, I, devil don't forget. I know, but the, the devil's kind of stupid in this tale, Christy. <laughs> uh, Jack says, hey, I know I'm, I'm going to hell, but uh, I, I, I'd really like an apple before. Huh. Uh, so they, they he gets the devil to climb up an apple tree to pick him an apple. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah. again, man, this is the devil. Yeah. Uh, and he puts the crucifixes around the uh, the tree oh, uh, so that the devil can't get down. He says, hey, you got to promise never to 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 make me go to hell. And the devil says, fine. And that's so then, the devil. Also, you know what? At this point, Jack, this is my fault. You know, shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, fool me once. Uh. Exactly. I'm, an, I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so uh, so uh, uh, eventually uh, uh, Jack does die, drinks a lot. And um, he goes uh, to St. Peter, and St. Peter says, you can't come in here. You're you're a bad guy. And he goes down to hell, and the devil says, well, I, we made a deal. I can't let you in here. I'm a man of my word, if nothing else. <laughs> and so you have to just roam the darkness for the rest of your life. But what I'm going to give you is one ember. And he tosses him an ember, and he puts it, in a, he puts it in a carved out turnip. And that's how jack-o'-lanterns got started. Huh. Yeah. The Irish actually started jack-o'-lanterns, and they were potatoes and turnips carved into faces. And I saw one of these turnips <laughs> terrifying. Yeah, the way creepier. Way creepier. Mm. Way creepier, yeah. man. Way wow. creepier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's how we got jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, let's talk about potatoes a little bit. Let's. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant pumpkins, Josh. I, uh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I know. I you got this. Yeah, I got you all. Um, they, they originated in Central America about 9,000 years ago. Uh, and um, they're a fruit. Did you guys know that? No, no. I did not know they were considered huh. a fruit. Yeah, they, they are uh, a winter squash, uh, <laughs> and they are in the same family as cucumbers and melons. Ah. So, ah. Screwed up family, isn't it? Oh, yeah, a lot of uh, weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, they were big uh, in World War II. Pumpkins were. Do you guys, you guys are familiar with these Victory Gardens? Sure. Yes. 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 Yeah, I guess that was a thing uh, to sort of supplement rations. Everybody grew, and uh -huh. pumpkins was a big deal in Victory Gardens. Uh, Victory Gardens sounds like a a bad old folks home, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, mom and dad are at Victory Gardens now. Oh, yeah, you couldn't afford uh, at, the other place. At Victory Gardens, your loved ones will win the day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day with shuffleboard, arts and crafts. And once a month, we drive those geezers to the mall. <laughs> Victory Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, did you guys know that eighty percent of pumpkins are, are picked in October? I didn't. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Man, my goodness. Uh, what's the uh, number one pumpkin state? Ooh, by far. Wow. By far. That's a great um, question. Uh, by far. California. Iowa. North Carolina. Nope. Uh. <laughs> Oh, he's lording the information over us. Tell us. Tell us. <laughs> it, does it, for, uh, is there some reason it would make sense that this is the number Yeah, one? Illinois. It's Illinois. Oh. That's where I would always go to a pumpkin patch over there to Millstadt, Illinois. Millstadt. Yeah, did, yeah. Uh, did Josh ever do the uh, pumpkin cannon? Absolutely. <laughs> and that is a, that is a beautiful My niece sight. was picked to load it up once. That's right. No. My niece. Yeah. <laughs> That's a celebrity, man. Yeah, I know, yeah. How far does it shoot the pumpkins? I mean. Far, Tom. Far and fast far. and high right. and beautiful. If you, it, I mean, I was a skeptic. And they were like, we're going to get ready to shoot the pumpkin. I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. And they shot it, and it was just silence. It was, I, I, the next military conflict we're in, we should sneak a couple of pumpkins in there. <laughs> yes. It'll baffle those people. Yeah. It stays uh, intact till the end? Yep. 
Yeah. It does not separate the air. Sometimes they'll load it with two pumpkins, Pat. Maybe wow. we should send these oh, to Ukraine. Oh, you know, are. Pat, that's a that's a really good question. There's a, a pumpkin chunkin' uh, a contest that's, up in that's Delaware. That's the catapult. That's the catapult, right? Well, Tom, it can be anything that doesn't involve electricity. <laughs> it can. Be, they, some people use a pneumatic tube. Oh, uh, wow. And a cannon. Yeah. Um, but the rule is the pumpkin has to stay intact until it hits the ground. Yeah. Falls apart in the air. Yeah. No good. Um, you know, there's some big pumpkins out there, guys. Oh, I've seen some. We had, the world, we had the world record this morning. What? Did Are we? you talking about uh, Steve? Uh, oh, no. That, that's, this is uh, the world Steve? record jack-o'-lantern we had this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah. jack-o'-lantern. Well, that's the yeah, largest uh, pumpkin is uh, in Belgium, 2016. 2,624 pounds. That's very heavy. Yeah, this yeah. one was only 2,560 pounds. Right. From uh, This was in uh, Minneapolis, I guess. Wait a minute, 2560? Yeah. Is this recent? Yeah, yeah. Today, and this is a jack o' lantern. Yes, it but was... I mean that thing must have been grown very recently because Geddes had the record up in New Hampshire in 2018. This that was, was two five two eight. Is that a pumpkin or is it a jack o' lantern? Well, Christy, a pumpkin is going to be heavier than a jack o' lantern. It's got all the stuff inside. It sure it. is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is from uh, Anoka, Minnesota, Greg, the Halloween capital of the world. Twenty five, uh... twenty five, sixty. Yep. 2560. That puts him. Uh, that puts him over uh, Geddes by 32 pounds. Uh, hey, it's, okay. this just happened, man. That's yeah. It's okay. I'm, uh, that's no, I'm no, doing. man. I'm, I suck. I no, 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 man. I'm, I'm terrible at this thing. Don't worry. Man. You're not gonna have to. Uh, you're not gonna have to Peter Jennings or Dan Rather your way out of or whatever. <laughs> this is from this morning from KMSP Television that's News. Right. Okay. It's a brand new news story. Hey, guys, guys, that's on me. I just want to say that's on me. <laughs> I, I should be you. checking the news before these it's reports. Okay. Yeah, you should. You should, you right. should yeah. probably. I know, yeah. man. It's yeah. not going to happen again. Well, I'll tell you that. This kind of thing doesn't happen with Reno. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, this is a very cheap large. Cheap shot, Josh. This that's is a cheap a shot. Very large. Uh, very large jack-o'-lantern. Yes, very large. Have you heard any of these guys talk, these uh, large fruit growers? They, uh, <laughs> Man, they take it super seriously. Very seriously. They were talking about the 2,000-pound barrier, like yeah. the first guy to break, like they were Roger Bannister or something. <laughs> the, like the four-minute mile, the climbing yeah. of Everest. <laughs> like they're here. Yeah, like, I mean, once, once Steve broke the 2,000-pound uh, uh, barrier, it was all all everything. Every, you know, that's, that's when it really started going. Sure. And this guy said, oh, where did he say? I, tell you, I never believed in miracles before, but uh, <laughs> Miracle Grow, baby. <laughs> he said, uh, this guy said, he goes, yeah, I got to tell you, <laughs> most competitive pumpkin growers don't take summer vacation. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Well, that's the... We, we don't get weekends. Wow. Yeah, that's the big part of the season for them. I've lost those three wives. The, um, <laughs> they don't taste good, though, those pumpkins. You guys know that? Yeah, I heard that. I heard it's mostly just water. Yeah, it's you want the, the, the small sugar pumpkins for pies. Those are... The, the biggest pumpkins are from the uh, Cucurbita maxima. Oh. That's the largest species of pumpkin. I see. Uh, can I start calling you Sugar Pumpkin, Craig? <laughs> I'd rather you didn't. Ah, you look so uh, cute today, Sugar Pumpkin. <laughs> you could call me. You could call me Kirker Beta Maxima. I don't mind that. That's a mouthful. Huh. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the Nissan Maxima, not the largest uh, in the <laughs> Nissan family. Oh, no, not the largest. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. That is fascinating. Oh, it is the yeah, Armada. I, yeah, sure, yeah, it is the Armada. Yeah. Is it, and the Grande, no, is, Grande isn't the biggest Starbucks coffee. No. no it's not it's something. And the tall is yeah. the shortest. Who knew? Yeah, how, yeah. About, how about that? It's like when it's good means bad. Why yeah. do they do that? Sure is a wild world, isn't it? It is a wild world we live in. <laughs> uh, well, Ooh, baby, baby, it's, it's a wild world. world. Shut that up. do 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 um, and, All right, uh, talk to you later. Bye, Greg. Yeah, Tom's Catch done with done. you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's wrapping it up. It sure is. You know, we, we uh, music playing. We actually, man, it can happen at any time. Guys. Uh, yeah, we now, I, uh, uh, Greg normal. Warren you're done, is you're done. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday. Greg is at the Comedy Cabana in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> That's not a real place. It's the comedy. It is. It is chicken. It's a fun place, and I'm bringing along a young up and coming comic to 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 open for me. Huh. Uh, Mark Gross. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh, well, Mark's great. Mark's a terrific writer. That's going to be a killer. He wants show. to. He wants to get back out and do a couple of weeks on the road. So I told him. Come oh, with I'm me. so excited. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, guys.